My lord, in three, two, one. My lord. We have word from Plesia. They have agreed to meet with us at their outpost on Carrion Isle. A poor venue should things go sour, as the island's name makes plain. But then, I don't see we have much of a choice. Right. Cautious as ever, Frederick the Wary. Don't worry, we'll get our ships. This threat hangs over all of us. Plesia as well. They must see that. Guess what I didn't do? Before I even say anything, let me just try and defend myself. The reason I don't off-screen train is because when I check to see what the next chapter is like, every time I'm considering doing off-screen training, there's a cutscene that starts before the actual chapter. So I'm not able to off-screen train. I guess I could just record this part right now, stop the recording, and then do some off-screen training. But I'm already in the mood to start speaking and stuff, so I don't want to do it. Uh, I am quite honestly the worst Let's Player of all time, but whatever. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we came to the conclusion that in order to arm ourselves for the war that's about to take place... Oh, hey! Uh, Dragon Soapy Stone. Didn't Pain just lose hers? So, we really need those. What can I fix, you, can I fix you with? Uh, I'm pretty sure one of you lost your thing. Uh, not quite yet for Noe, but for Pain. Uh, wherever she may be. I totally just skipped over her, didn't I? Yes, I did. She didn't? I swear one of you lost your weapon last episode. Maybe I'm just cray cray, okay, okay. Huh. But yeah, last episode we said we were gonna go talk to Plesia, and this episode we're talking to Plesia. Riveting. Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it though. Do we got any bullion though? Yes, we got bullion L in Payne's inventory. Uh, gonna get rid of that. Anything else doesn't look like it. I guess we're good for now. Oh, he has a master seal. I guess we could buy that just for the heck of it. You could buy multiple if you want. You can finally buy master seals, so we don't have to worry about uh, being limited to which characters we want to upgrade. I like going buying all these as if I'll we'll actually be able to use all of them, because I'm like stinking terrible with all my upgrades and all that jazz. Oh, what do I even want to do? Chapter 13 is what's on the menu for us. Do I want to do a little off-screen training just super duper quickly? The thing is, though, it won't be super duper quickly. Uh, well, let's see what our barracks are looking like. Pew, 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 pew. New events. What do we got? Uh, we got Stall for the first time in like a million episodes. Good morning, Robin. I'm starving. How about you? Listen to long coup. Ugh. What did I just step on? Uh, contact lens? No. Erica's blade. Okay. That's a reference to a Fire Emblem character of old. Like, I was just like, what did I just step on? A you know, stinking sword. Okay. Hope you're okay, long coup. At last, some peace and quiet. We're still with long coup. We're just sitting in here. Very riveting. Okay, cool. Uh, Sully? All done polishing the weapons. Can't fight Jack Squat without a trusty blade or bow. 25 EXP. Up next is Robin. What's this? Hmm, don't mind if I do. Sigurd's lands another reference to another character. And finally, dreams are a powerful thing. What is that you seek for yourself? What is it that you seek for yourself? Well, nothing really. The Vague is already master of all. Sure, whatever you say. Bud. Just a couple of Axie boys. Uh, I guess that's it for now. As for support, we got Krom and Frederick, our first one with them. Robin and Longku. And that seems to be it for now. Okay. Let's see what those two are like. My lord. Oh, we got a my lord. That's a good reason to have Krom and Frederick team up more often. I've completed my patrol, the encampment, my lord. All appears to be in order. I found no sign of the enemy nearby. I believe we are safe here for the night. Good. Good to hear. Thank you, Frederick. Ah. While on the all on my rounds, I took it upon myself to inspect our weaponry as well. I've placed any items that showed an exceptional wear outside of your pavilion. Be your choice to sell or repair them, sire. I recommend swift action. Really? Oh, well, you have been busy. So your work ethic always impresses, Frederick. I almost feel lazy by comparison. Nonsense. I've done nothing more than my duty as a knight of Ulysses. 
Oh, and beg pardon, my lord, but I noticed you often cause a ruckus when training. With that in mind, I reinforce the tents near any open areas you'd like to use. Forgive me. Er, uh, yes, I see. Sorry for the trouble. Really? No trouble at all, my lord. Happy to help. Also, with the nights growing colder, I procured blankets from a nearby village. I've readied a variety of colors so you might pick that which best suits you. If I may be so bold, sire, preach would seem to... Peach would seem to better, best flatter your complexion. But perhaps blue, just to be safe. Yes, that's the best. Blue it is. Here you are, my lord. And two sets of spares, just in case. Hmm. Frederick, do you never tire? Well... Of course not, my lord. I am here to serve. Ah, uh, the one final thing. I've taken measures to raise troop numbers and morale. I had an artisan create posters emblazoned with your noble image. It's my lord in a bold pose, naked, save a scale in one hand and a sword in the other. And for and at your feet, I scrawled your, our new recruiting motto, Crom wants you. I had them pinned inside each and every tent. Surely the troops will be thrilled to rally behind their common leader, my lord. Huh? Wait, you did what? In whose? You hunt this pig? Is everyone's tent? Indeed. No need for thanks, my lord. Merely doing my duty. And that concludes my report. Rest well, sire. Listen. Frederick, wait! We really need to... Talk. Oh, gods, I've got to tear some posters down before anyone sees them. That was sick and amazing. I've always seen, like, memes of comparing Crom to, like, a little puppy dog and whatnot. I think it's more so just the way that Frederick treats him that we uh, we draw that comparison. Also, I just noticed that my laptop isn't plugged in, so hopefully the recording up to this point wasn't too terrible. Give me a second. Have I mentioned that I'm the worst Let's Player in the history of forever? Well, whatever. On to another note, we got Robin and Long Koo, rank C communication. Hey. Well, Long Koo, it looks like we're partners for today's training session. You'll go easy on me, won't you? Right. Let's go. Was that a yes or a no? In any case, let's get on with it. <laughs> wow. You're as good as they say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but not even bothering to draw your sword? It comes off as just a bit condescending. <laughs> Swordplay is a man's pursuit. What does a woman know of? What? <gasps> What in blazes are you doing, woman? Why are you throwing figs? Huh? If you can't get it close to a foe, you must engage him at long range. Basic tactics, really. I'm surprised you'd be unfamiliar with them. Pardon? Well, no matter. It's not as if you'll ever hit me with one. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a challenge. All right, Twinkle Toes, dodge this! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah! Stop it! Don't come any closer! Please stop tossing figs! Huh? We have to. Hey! -ya! Get close to yeah, train properly. Yeah, just a bit further. Uh, I won't stand here to be pelted with root by a mad woman. I'm leaving. What? Coward, get back here. Robin and Longku attain support level C. Oh my god, Longku is just like such a wide array of communications with like all this thing and female units. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, now that's taken care of. Do I want to upgrade any character uh, at this point in time? I kind of want to upgrade Long Ku now. I think Harvey wants to say level 16 is good enough, but the fact that you could go further makes me want to just hang it, hang it out. Just stick it out. Jeez, well, I guess both sound suggestive. Whatever. Time to get started with the actual chapter. Chapter 13, Carry an Isle. Or of Sacred Blood. I really gotta stop reading these chapter titles. Good day, my lord. Pleasure welcomes you. <laughs> Aversa. What can I say? It seems fate has designs for me yet. What? You serve the new king then? This Validar? <laughs> I do. Really? They say he worships Grima. Why, yes. Of course he is, Grimliel. 
We are both believers. My liege often says it was his faith that got him through after Grangle's passing. It was a difficult time, but he kept order where there might have been chaos. We had meant to arrange an official visit to Yulistal, but... Ah, uh, here is my lord now. What have we here? An honor to finally meet you, sire. I am Valadar, King Regnant of Plasia. The honor is mine, good king. Is it possible we've met somewhere before? Gods, it can't be! Oh, oh I'm quite certain I would remember any encounter with the Elysian royalty. <clears throat> Robin! Yeah. I know, he looks just like the assassin that came after Emeryin. You must be Lady Robin. Huh? You know of me, sire? The whole world knows of Ulysses, master tactician. And indeed, I see the sparkle of wisdom in your eyes. Listen, we killed him, Robin. Hmm. I know, but the resemblance, it's uncanny. Right. How could he possibly... My, the negotiations haven't even begun, and already so much whispering. <laughs> My apologies, King Validar. We meant no disrespect. Krom? What should we do? Right. Nothing for now, but stay close and be ready for anything. Now then, let us get to it. Well... Alicia can offer no soldiers but we'll provide 800 warships and 200 transports. In addition, we would be pleased to fully fund the campaign against Valm. What? That is surprisingly generous of you, my lord. We could not ask for more, quite literally. You offer most all your assets. Mm. I would give troops as well, but our army remains in shambles from the last war. I trust the gold and ships will suffice as a sign of our commitment to the cause. Thank you. Of course it will. Thank you, King Validar. <laughs> the honor is ours, my prince. I look forward to building a strong bond between our two nations. <laughs> as do I. Then, if there's nothing else, my men and I must hurry back to Port Ferox. So soon? Oh, but I have one more introduction to make. Hmm? Yes, and who would that be? Hmm. A Hierophant, the highest of her order in all Plesia. So you lead the people in worship? We were just discussing religion earlier. Huh? I'm sorry, have I said something to offend you? Hmm. The heart still sleeps, but the blood flows through it, and the blood is strong. <clears throat> uh, beg pardon, were you talking to me? Explain. Good Hierophant, I would ask you to lower your cowl. In Ulysses, it is a courtesy expected of one in the presence of royalty. Yes. You are a long way from Ulysses, sir. But very well. <laughs> Is that better? What? By the gods! What manner of sorcery? No. She looks just like me. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Robin. Oh, and that was your name as well, wasn't it? What a strange coincidence. Now then. Why, that is rather curious, now that you mention it. What are the odds? 
In any case, I believe we are finished here. We will let you be on your way. Wait! Hold just one moment! Oh. The Lord. Listen. What is the meaning of this? Why do your Hierophant and Robin... <laughs> I'm afraid we've no time for such trivial matters now, your highness. We have aid preparations to attend to, and you have a long, hard journey ahead. Oh, and do be careful on your way back to Port Ferox. This time of year, the high roads of Plesia can be quite treacherous. no use. I can't sleep. Who was that woman? How could she bear my same face? Robin. Heed me, Robin. Huh? Who's there? Uh, there's no one. I'm alone. Heed my call. Robin. <laughs> this voice is in my head. Who are you? What's happening? Hmm. Why do you close your heart to him, Robin? <laughs> Validar. Have you truly forgotten? You were calling me. Ugh, my head! Get out of my mind! <laughs> such arrogance! You dare take such a tune? With your own father? What? My what? <laughs> you are of my flesh, but of sacred blood. You are to serve a glorious purpose. Search deep in your heart. You already know it is your destiny. No. Get out! <laughs> Why do you resist us, Robin? Your rightful place is at my side. Not wasting your time with these doomed servants of Naga. Give yourself to Grima. Let me join your strength to the fell dragon. Hey, Robin. What? Ah, not this one again. No matter. In time, you will see the truth, and that is all it will be a matter of time. Robin, are you alright? I heard shouting. <sighs> I... I think so. Yes, Crom, thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Listen. Fine is a poor choice of words. What happened? <sighs> King Validar, he... He spoke to me. In my mind. He said I was his... his daughter. What? Is this true? Hmm. I don't know, but I also don't know it's a lie. Loath as I am to say it, I felt a... a strange connection between us. <clears throat> Gods, that Hierophant doppelganger. Could she be the king's daughter as well? Are you twins? I... I'm sorry, Krom. I can't remember. But if I'm being honest, it would explain much. I'm not even sure I want to know the truth of my past anymore. No. You're yourself. Before you are any man's daughter. Remember that. Right. Thank you, Krom. You alright? Can you walk? Yeah. Yes, I think so.
Oh, I just remembered who pops up in this chapter. My lord. Urgent, my lord. We are under attack. Risen have encircled the camp. What? But we posted sentries. How did this happen? Ah. They made a stealthy approach, my lord. I've never seen Risen behave like this. Either they are learning our ways or someone is commanding them. No. Validar, this is his doing. I'm sure of it. Equip anyone who can bear arms and tell them we fight for our lives. Time to fight some Risen. We got quite a limited cast of characters this time around. I'm sorry, Olivia. I just can't use you. We're going to go with Cherish. I think I'm good with that decision. Viewing the map, we're all pretty bunched together. I wanted Krom. I don't know. I like the Krom and Lissa communications, but Krom and Frederick is so stinking hilarious. Um. I'll stick with Robin and Lissa and then Frederick and Krom for now. Then we'll do Sumia. I'm surprised Sumia is actually still with us. Um, Tharja, Cherish. I guess we'll be good. Let's fight. What's that? A storm of crows? Gods, it's upon us! Hey. Ka -ka! Are you folks lost? Or perhaps I lost cause? <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself! God's breath! I can't see anything through all these darn birds! Shoo! Scat! Away with you! <laughs> What's wrong? Caustrophobic? Meow! I slay me. Not if these risen do it first. This is no time for japes. Hide yourself, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought you were all right. Turns out you're all fright. Yeah! <laughs> I'd wish you'd be good luck in killing these monsters, but... They're already dead! What? We are all well aware. <laughs> oh, the ravens wanted me to give you a message. Ka! Ka ka ka! Roughly translated, it means... Hmm, now what was that human word for that again? Trapeze? Tripe? Oh, trapped! Right! They said you're trapped. Gods. We know that already! Gods! Where do they all come from? Wow. Well, see, when a mommy zombie and a daddy zombie love each other very much... <laughs> Perhaps I should save the Risen the trouble and silence you myself. Hey, wait, I want to join your cause. I mean, I can help you. I know magic. What do you say? Birds of a feather and all that? What? Those robes. A Plesian dark mage? Why would you help us? <laughs> oh, uh, don't go let... Don't let all the joking around fool ya. I've got kind of a thing for killing. Most funny people do, you know. The two things must be linked somehow. Ever talk to a jester when he's off duty? Those guys are some sick dastards. <laughs> oh, the ravens also said to keep an eye on those fortresses. If you're nearby when the monsters emerge, it could cause quite a stir. Kill him. Henry is my least favorite character in Fire Emblem Awakening. And that probably confuses a lot of you, because all of you know that I love puns, so why would I hate a character that makes puns? I don't have an answer, honestly. I just hate him. I hate him so much. I don't understand what it is, but like, usually I love characters that make puns, or like, I'm on the same wavelength as them, but like, with him, it's just horrible. I don't get it entirely, but I can't stand him. Oh my god. He's so stinking horrible, but we're stuck with him, unfortunately. Uh, I guess I'll pair you up with Anna simply because we could, I guess. Uh, Sumia is alone. I wasn't expecting that. I probably should have paired up with uh, Sumia. But whatever. Henry 
in terms of battle, he's actually a really powerful dark mage. So if you want like another character that works like Robin or Tharja, then here you go. He does darkness, he does fire. He's pretty good, but I don't know, I think it's the fact that, like, he just constantly makes jokes with, like, no real purpose to it. It's like uh, Professor Oak's brother in the anime, or what's his name, Samson Oak. He is so stinking annoying and terrible, and it's like, every single sentence he says, he, like, set, like, matches up his words with, like, a pun that relates to stinking Pokemon. When it makes, like, no sense, like, oh, looks like we'll be flying Ludi Solo! Like, when there's not even a Ludicolo around, like, he changes his face to look like Ludicolo. And it's just completely nonsensical, has no purpose whatsoever. He does it, like, multiple times in one sentence, and you can't even understand what he's saying half the time, because it's so stinking obnoxious. Like, I think that's why I hate him so stinking much, and... I just don't like humor like that, where it's just, like, completely nonsensical, and, like, you don't understand anything that they're saying. Uh, transfer Henry to me. I kind of have to, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I guess we just need to get rid of everyone. Uh, switch to Nelly? Uh, pretty much the same, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I like puns and all, but, like, I like it when it's a per it has a purpose to, like, uh, what someone says or something like that, or what's going on, but, like, He's making muscle what's going on, but like it's just completely constant in every stinking sentence and like Oh my god. Not even joking, first time I played this game, I literally took all the stuff out of his inventory and just let the Risen kill him. He was a literal meat shield. I'm not gonna be using him. I sing and hate him so 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 much. Uh let's go over here now. Stop talking about how much I sing and hate Henry. And let's use a character I actually do like using. I'm going to try and focus on Cherish a bit more because I want to get her leveled up. And I want to use her a bit more often, but I'm also kind of worried that she will take a lot of damage. It's all about the counterattack. Everything can just completely 180 uh, when you least expect it, if you're not paying attention to what's going to be happening once your turns are all over. Uh, like that, I guess. Uh, Sumia. Can you KO anyone? You can't. There's a... You shouldn't be anywhere near the arrow, dude. Uh, you can KO him, but... Only because he's got like one HP left. Oh, that's special. Uh, but it's the farthest away from the arrow, dude, so I guess we should do it. I don't even want to show off Henry in battle. Like, the experience won't be worth it because I'm not going to be using him. So, he has really weird, like, critical hit lines. He'll be like, I'm going to kill you! So, I guess that's kind of weird and creepy and whatnot, but I don't know. I just hate him so much. And. He looks like Robin, like too much like the male Robin, except smiling, so even his design isn't all that interesting. It's just really lame, I don't know, I hate him so much and stuff. I don't know what else I could say. That's also sort of one of the reasons why I didn't want to do 100% completion, because then it would require me to use Henry. And I really didn't want to. Okay, so that's taken care of. Uh, going for Frederick this time, thank you for taking the pressure off the chairs for a little bit. Again, I really don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, but it just it sounds like it has a nice feeling to say it that way. Just cherish. It sounds peaceful. Not peaceful. Like, I don't know. It's like a word I've never said before, and I don't know. Okay, there's this critical hit. So that was pretty helpful, I guess, but I don't, really don't like him. Okay, get a little bit of experience for Sumia. I could upgrade her now or like change her class entirely if I'm not a fan of the Pegasus Knight thing. Maybe I could change her to something more useful. I'll have to look at the second seals. Uh, there goes. I don't know if we have any other second seals besides the one that I want Lissa to use, though. Is the thing. So I might have to keep track of that. We just got the ability to buy master seals, though, so I assume second seals will be right around the corner. A uh, silver axe. That's pretty nice. I should give that to uh, Cherish if we get the chance. Uh, we'll go to. Hmm. This dude's like just waiting to cause trouble. Anna, can you reach anyone you can't? Uh, kind of messed up when like having to transfer Henry over to Sumia. I know this does like healing. I could, but I don't want to. Uh, we'll try this. Oh, hey, Sumi a critical hit. What do we got? 
Oh, wow. That was really awesome, Sumia. Knew you had it in you, buddy. Got that. We're gonna send Noe up here so we don't even have to deal with them now. Uh, let's see, Anna. We got two groups up there. Uh, a couple of groups up there. We'll send Anna northward. Uh, Staff, forgot she was a healer. Uh, Alyssa, unfortunately can't do much, but whatever. Uh, this guy's two squares away. Or no, it's just, yeah, it's okay right here. Go ahead and do that. Uh, one hit? Oh, one HP remaining, unfortunately, but whatever. Not that much damage to Robin. Still not very good to have Robin out in the open. That was our first level up as a Grandmaster. I think we got in the last episode, though, so not too surprising. Like, the concept always, like, freaked me out. It says, like, your unit will return to level one. I'm like, no, I don't want to upgrade anyone or change their classes. Why would I do that? That sounds horrible. How would I ever beat the game without doing, like, a million grind fests? But, no, I just need to get a better understanding of the... The, the ways of the fire emblem. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, we just gotta finish you off. Keep you behind for a little bit longer. There we go. Victory. Uh, let's see. Level up for Cherish. She uh, came to us at a very high level, so it's pretty easy to get her maxed out. I don't know what level Henry is, but I don't care because I hate him. Ugh. Counter attack, what do we got? Whole lot of nothing, apparently. Uh, we're kind of creating a blockade for ourselves here. If we aren't able to take them out right now, it would be kind of troublesome. Okay, thank you. It was your time. It was your time. Go down here. So, apparently, Kingdom Hearts comes out on Tuesday. I thought it came out on Friday. I'm recording this on Saturday. Only a few more days till it releases, so I'm really excited. But I was expecting it to be Friday, so that's kind of Alco Taco. Sorry if you're like really sick of me talking about Kingdom Hearts, but I'm pretty sure all the internet talk about Kingdom Hearts. So what else can we talk about? Uh, I need a haircut. <laughs> that's a thing that I uh can talk about. I just like desperately need a haircut. I think I've limited myself to getting haircuts like two or three times a year. So it's good on saving money, but like my hair is stinking ridiculous like half the time. But I honestly, I do like having long hair, and I've just had so many terrible experiences with uh, barbers that, like, it makes me kind of afraid to ever go to get my hair cut because I can never really know what, how it's going to turn out because I just don't have a barber I could trust, unfortunately. I wish I had, like, I my own personal one that could just, like, I knew they were always going to do it right. But, unfortunately, that's not the case. I know I just need to, like, be more specific of, like, what I want. Oh, god darn, I got so excited. Um, but yeah, maybe I just need to be more specific. Like, even when I am specific, though, my worst experience, like, the thing that made me so sick and afraid of getting a haircut uh, in recent times was, like, I went to get my haircut at this place, and this lady said that, like, I had to get my hair shampooed before uh, she cut it. She said it was impossible to cut hair unless it gets shampooed first. I'm like, I've never got my hair shampooed before getting it cut. No one's ever asked that before. But she said, like, it's impossible. I need to shampoo her, so I'm not able to cut it. I'm like, I don't want to, though, because it costs money to do that. And she's like, I'll make it free if you just let me do it. I'm like, okay, fine. If it's free, then whatever. So she did it. And then she, like, holds up, like, a sample length of, like, how far I want it cut and whatnot. And it's just, like, an inch or two. And I'm like, yeah, I want it just, like, an inch or two or whatever. And she's, like, clarifying a million times. Be like, you want this? You want just this little bit? Yes, a little bit. This a little bit? Yes, a little bit. A little bit? Yes, a little bit. Okay, I'm going to cut it all off. And there's nothing you can do about it, so snipping away, and my hair just completely disappeared, and it was really stinking crummy. So that was really unfortunate. And then afterwards, she made me pay for the shampoo anyway, so that was really great. I'm pretty sure I could have like won that fight if I stood up for myself, but I don't stand up for myself, so that was really crummy. And I sort of became like super afraid to get a haircut since then. So my hair is really stinking long. I need to figure out what I can and need to do with it. A uh, silver button's cool. Uh, could do that. I should get rid of the archer, though, if I can. Uh, ooh, the archer can. Thank you. Switch to her. But yeah, I really need to get a haircut, but I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. Uh, this sounds very scandalous for me, considering how much I make fun of the Inkling Boy man bun. 69! Of the Inkling Boy man bun, but, uh, I didn't do a man bun, but, like, I hold my hair back and like tried to see what it looked like in a ponytail and the front it looks 
good, actually. As weird as that sounds like, because it just poofs outward in the left and right position. But if I take that left and right bits and then uh, hide it in the back, then it looks normal. And I like it like that. So maybe I could start doing that. I don't know, maybe it could be like Link from Breath of the Wild or something like that. Just having a ponytail. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I definitely need like the front coat though, just because like it gets in my eyes like way too often. So and this is like this is such a weird uh, conversation topic. It's different at least, but it's just something really weird, I guess. Just hairstyling tips with Midnight and Beyond. If you have any hairstyling tips or like just experiences with hairstylists or um anything I should do or say to them when getting my hair cut, please let me know because I would very much appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I like having these weird conversations that like have nothing to do with video games. Like, one of my main reasons why I like doing free-range commentary of just, like, anything but the game. Because I like seeing people just out of their element. Like, anyone could talk about the game when playing a Let's Play, but I want to hear your personal stories about what you have experienced in your life or whatever. So, uh, that's just sort of why I like to do it. And I just like, uh, I know I've gone this around, like, the unsettling feeling. Not really unsettling in this sense, because, like, it's not that weird, because we're all human beings, so we all get haircuts, all that jazz. Unless you're bald, I guess, but, um, it's just uh, something cool. I like seeing people out of their element, is what I'm trying to say, like, kind of in the same vein where I like Mario Rabbids or Idol Masters, you know, Glossia, but, like, I guess a uh, Shaq would be a good example. That was the first thing that came to mind, but, um, I don't like basketball, but I love, like, Shaq memes and stuff. I like talk about Shaq Fu, and I get excited whenever Shaq does something. I don't care about wrestling in the slightest, but I'll always be laughing at John Cena jokes or anything like that, so uh, that's just sort of my sense of hum humor or something like that? Or no, I just like seeing people out of their element, I guess. Um, it's like I like Shaq Fu as a video game where I just like, uh, what was the game where like, uh, Chaos and, was it Michael Jordan Chaos in Windy City? It's just funny to me, so to see that like sort of a theme like a real life basketball player needs to save his team from like evil wizards that stole them or something like that oh come on frederick you can't play with my emotions like that Ooh, sparkly though that's cool but uh, yeah that's sort of where i come from in terms of like how i like people just talk about weird things that you wouldn't expect or just random things about themselves and just uh new conversation topics that like we could start to bond over because we could bond over the game anytime it's just like uh, not every day we could talk about uh, my crazy hairstyles and stuff, so hopefully you enjoy these conversations as well. Uh, we work we work a lot better if I can actually like, move around when uh, talking about these cool topics and stuff. It would actually make the video shorter if I was able to do that. Our thunder broke new! No! Uh, hopefully Katarina's bolt is just as good, if not better. Uh, I'm going to stand right here, get rid of this guy. Oh, hey, critical for Sumia. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah. Um, oh, it was me talking about how I tend to slow down whenever I'm getting really, like, talky about a certain topic or whatever. I noticed in, like, my Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play, anytime I started talking about the Pokemon bios, um, I would just stop playing the game. And the point of the bios being, like, in tune with the actual gameplay and like having the same time and stuff was so I could like make the videos shorter and uh, not have them uh, run longer. But whenever I start talking about the Pokemon, I just don't do anything. My concern though with that was um, I didn't want to like, catch the Pokemon while I was talking about it. So, and I have no idea whether or not that's going to happen. So, uh, I was just sort of paranoid about that. It was more so an early game problem that sort of led into the later game though. So, eh, whatever. Just sort of something I need to keep in mind whenever I get around to LP next D. Speaking of Pokemon, though, this is being recorded around the time where I finally got around to editing Pokemon Delta Emerald. Hope you guys enjoyed that idea. It's something I'm really excited to finally show off. But, um... Oh, jeez. These guys keep on showing up. I think we just need to get rid of the main dude. Possibly. Uh, what do we got? Oh, he goes into zero right there, so... Uh, I should see first. Anna? Oh, Anna will die. Don't want that. I uh, should still get experience, though, while we still have the chance. Uh, go down here. Libra does four damage. Down to two. There's a helicopter outside. I'm sorry if you hear it. Uh, zero. Okay. Kind of wish someone else could have gotten it, but whatever. 
start thinking about upgrading Frederick though, right? What level is he at? I know he's like always not that high level because he just kills everything one hit anyway. He's at level 9. We can't even upgrade him yet if we wanted to. Uh, let's do... Can you get rid of him? Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. I'll go with chairs. Uh, there you go. See, I'm, uh, I just got around to editing Delta Emerald. I finished all the GBA stuff. I still need to edit the uh, 3DS stuff. The GBA stuff, it was recorded throughout 13 different segments, but it wound up only being like six episodes, which I was kind of surprised about and kind of relieved. Uh, I don't know why relieved, because it's good to have content, but like, I don't know. I just had no idea how long that thing was going to end up being. Uh, sure, we can attack him, whatever. I get a lot of dropping items from these guys. That's kind of cool. Uh, get rid of him. I'll return the favor. But yeah, I still need to put the 3DS stuff in integrated. and I have no idea how that's going to turn out. So, it'll be a swell time in editing, I'll say that much. Uh, could I get rid of you? No, I cannot. Could Henry get rid of you? No, he can't. Okay, cool. So, he's been getting a lot of criticals recently. I guess there's nothing bad for me doing it. Just seeing if I could get a critical. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna kill you. He's so cheery about murder. Uh, but whatever, I still don't like him. Is that a level for? Okay, good for Sumia. So what I actually care about? Maybe I can finally make a difference. If we make a difference. God, I'm so excited for Joker to be singing Smash Bros. It's so amazing. Uh, I guess we'll kill this guy now. <laughs> Kill Prince Blog. Very into the voice action right now. Okay, Robin, let's see what you got. Okay, either I got really lucky or Katarina's bolt is awesome. Kill Prince. Now that's what I call progress. You got a secret book. Not so secret anymore. Libra and Cherish are the MVPs. That's cool. Right. That's the last of them. Gods, I thought it might never. Crumb. Look out! <laughs> huh? <gasps> Father, no! Together. Father. Thank the gods you're safe. Huh? You called me father. <laughs> Did I? I... Perhaps we might speak privately? <clears throat> perhaps we should, yes. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Listen. I already know you're not Marth, though I have nothing better to call you. But I'll ask nothing of that you don't wish to reveal. Whoever you are, Ulysses owes you a debt beyond repaying. No. Thank you, but I think I would prefer you know the truth. Good. As you wish. Yes. Here, look closely and all will be made clear. That's the brand of the exalt. Uh, Lucina. Uh, you deserved better from me than one sword in a world of troubles. I'm sorry.
better, Lucina? I'm so sorry. Yes, father. I'm sorry. It just all rushed back at once. Good father. Should I call you something else? No. It's just strange to my ear. I like it. <sighs> father! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will take some getting used to. Crumb. I'm sorry to interrupt. Huh? Oh, Robin, what is it? <sighs> it's just that you two are out here alone and Martha's is crying? This is how ill rumors are born. Hmm. I trust you, Krom, but is there a reason you and Marth need to be alone? Listen. Can we tell her, Lucina? Yes. Of course. Huh? Lucina? Listen to me. Robin, this is going to come as a shock, but I'll just say it. This is our daughter. What? Have you gone mad? Right. It's true, Robin. Please, look carefully. Prove it with your own eyes by looking into mine. Uh, you have the brand! Hmm. The same brand carried by all House Ulysses' bloodline. No. Lucina's eye bears the same exact pattern. Listen. Do you see now? Um. No, no, I can't say that I do. If this is Lucina, what has befallen our baby back at the palace? <sighs> Nothing. She's fine. It's all right. Your baby is right where you left her and perfectly safe. I am her from another time, from a time that is yet to be. What? You mean the future? More than ten years hence, after history takes a dark and most destructive turn. in the future. Right. The fell dragon Grima is resurrected. His roar is a death knell for man, and a scream that silences all hope. Death everywhere. No. Krom? Our whole company? All of us? Dead? Yes. Um... I... I don't know what to say. A tale that beggars believe, and yet the truth of it stands before us. She carries Falchion, my same sword. And the same sword that the first Exalt used to defeat Grima long ago. Right. Your blade and mine are one, father. It was... it was all I had left of you. Right. There is only one Falchion, Robin. I believe her. Yeah, and so do I. Heck, I saw her come from the future. She fell right out of the sky. I've never seen anything like it. Yes. Thank you, Aunt Lissa. Naga, the divine dragon, feared mankind would face Grima again. In preparation for that day, she devised a ritual. It allows one to return to the past and after events already written. I made the journey together with others, but we became separated. <sighs> Don't worry, Lucina. If they're out there, we'll find them. Hmm. 
my daughter. Yes. Your daughter. Oh. You have grown into such a strong and beautiful woman. Krom and I are truly blessed. You have my gratitude. Hey. Will you not call me mother? <laughs> I thought you might mind. No. Of course not. I love you with all my heart. Mother. <laughs> You're the finest daughter a woman could hope for, Lucina. Mother. Oh, I've missed you more than you'll ever know.